सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन तो यस्टरडे वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एक्टिविटीज विद इन द्यूमन बींग द इमेजिनेशन दैट इज गोइंग ऑन कॉन्स्टेंटली विद इन अस वी आर जस्ट ओपन दिस टॉपिक एंड we had asked if we can all try to observe that throughout the day when we are doing various activities before we do the activity there is some thought process within us there is some imagination going on within us and in fact if you observe even when you are not doing some activity outside there is some imagination going on within us there is some feeling some thoughts something we are expecting from outside and on the basis of all this if sometimes we wish to express it outside we instruct the body to do so so this um we were trying to observe yesterday and could we observe this if you would like to share your explorations your responses what you could observe it would be nice the things happening outside on their own was the body doing things on its own or could you observe that we are giving some instruction and before giving the instruction also that we are thinking something some process is on within us some imagination is going on within us yes rajnish yes. even when we say the knowing domain let's try to see what we mean by that ji so that we have clarity for ourselves what it is that we are seeing within us so um as we keep observing that the sharpness of observation becomes more and more the clarity of what you are observing becomes more and more so this just the starting so if we can observe all this that's very good yeah so we if we you know separate the two what is happening in the body and what is happening in the self right mm. we can try to observe this are we interacting with the body all the time or sometimes are we instructing the body to express something outside all the time or sometimes and this activity that is going on within us this imagination that is going on within us whether that is happening sometimes or all the time this will be important for us to try to see for instance when you are sleeping hmm. the body you have instructed perhaps to lie down in the bed and just it's there it's not doing out of activity but you may be thinking many things so within the self lot of activity may be happening and so on so we'll try to observe all this when we are doing the exercises we'll try to detail it out whether okay. spontaneously if you know the body is also not doing and we are also not involved then who is doing so we'll have to observe this we'll okay. do this you know step by step and we are doing the exercises right now we were just trying to see if we can observe that some activities are going on within ourselves okay. right even if we don't express it through the body so right like you said all these activities are going on within us and if we want to know what is happening within and if it is important for us to be able to have this happiness within then first and foremost we need to observe what is happening in our imagination and then we will see 
refer to our natural acceptance and do all of those things also. Nice. Okay. We are able to do many things, say like repetitive task. We may give instruction to the body to do something. Yeah. And it is doing. And then we get busy thinking something else because now we have instructed the body to do this. This is a repetitive thing. And that is happening. And behind that, we may also be thinking other things. For instance, like when you're walking downstairs. Isn't it? Now when yeah. you're walking downstairs that are... Uh, say there is a flight of stairs. And you're walking down 10, 12, 15 steps. So even you start going down, you may be paying attention to where you are putting your foot. And so you give instruction accordingly to the body. Yes. But when you start going down, then you may be busy with other thoughts. Now you have given the task and you have instructed the body. And that is one part. And you are maybe thinking something. But if there is a slight, you know, one step is not the same width or the same height as the other steps, you may falter. Suddenly, you, yes, know, you may trip or something like that. Yes, Didi. Yes. And so you can do many things like this. So that capacity is there within us. And as we keep observing, this is a very nice observation that you made that, you know, thinking in the future, this all this may be happening many times with many of us, that yes. while doing some activity, we are already thinking about what we'll do next. Yes, yes, Didi. And it's almost as if you're waiting for this to finish to go to the next. Yes. So then you may not be able to give your 100% to what is happening right now because you're already thinking something else. Yesterday. See, any problem, if we want to solve it outside, first and foremost, if I am comfortable within, if I am you know, balanced within, only then can I solve the problem properly outside. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So the moment, you know, it may be some problem outside, but if I am getting disturbed, then it is now my problem. Isn't it? So, I am already disturbed, meaning I am the one who is unhappy, you know? Yes, yes, yes. So, if I want to resolve that, first and foremost, what I need to do is see what is it that is making me unhappy. Why is it happening? What is this disturbance within me? And can I be without this disturbance? Okay. And then try to resolve the problem problem outside okay. isn't it without solving the problem inside without solving the conflict inside okay if i try to solve it outside very often we may not be able to for instance if the same thing we observe that the person assigning the work for him also there are so many tasks to be done now he is trying to see how to best get it done quickly in the most efficient manner because there are so many tasks to be done and it's taking too long. He has his own set of deadlines and what to do and what you know how to get things done. So from his perspective, if you try to see, he's also struggling with many things. He's also not exactly enjoying and giving you all the work. He's also struggling. Now, if we see from that perspective, then we can you know, see his side of the story also. And then we can try to work with the two, three people, the person who is not able to do the work, maybe he's struggling with some other issues. So until we discuss these things, we don't know the whole story. So we can certainly discuss, we can certainly all of us sit together and discuss that, you know, what can we do that uh, now because everybody is having problem coping. So what is the best solution? We can give some alternative solutions, we can try to think about those. But we will only be able to think about those properly if we are in balance inside, we are in harmony. If we ourselves are disturbed, then uh, it's going to be unlikely that we'll be able to resolve the problem, isn't it? Yes, 
will also try to observe. A lot of times we go with that feeling of resentment and anger and irritation and we complain and the other person doesn't want to hear it because nobody likes to, you know, at the moment the other person has a feeling of opposition, the person who, want, who we are approaching already has decided that, you know, I don't want to hear all this, yeah. too many things to handle. So they may not be even hearing what you're saying. But if you go with the feeling of relationship and you see that he is also struggling, he is also not exactly enjoying life, with that when we try to talk it out, there may be a different solution. For that we have to, you can do that experiment and see and everybody can get together and try to do that without, you know, complaining. Yeah, yes. Go and have a discussion. Okay. Yes, but anyway, the important thing is for us, we must be observing within ourselves what we are feeling, what we are thinking, because a lot of times we blurt out things without really realizing you know, what kind of instructions we are giving to the body. And sometimes after the event also, we may repent or we may think that, oh, why did I do this? Isn't it? Yeah, yes, it is. So rather than do that, it might be better to observe within first and foremost. Not only can the activities outside, you know, take a different turn, but more importantly, my happiness within me may be ensured at more moments. Yes. So this we have discussed in the workshop also. You can open up this full slide. Gee. So we have discussed this um, in the workshop also, that when we look at our imagination and when we see you know, our feelings, our desires, they can be motivated through three sources. One is the preconditionings outside or the preconditionings within me which I have received from outside. They may not have been a part of me to begin with, but they have become a part of me now. For instance, if I have two, three experiences where the boss gives me extra work, now I already have a feeling of resentment towards that boss because of the extra work that is being given to me. Now when I see even that person, he hasn't given me any extra task today, but I see his face and already I have a feeling of opposition within me. Because I have already, I am waiting that now again he is going to give me more tasks and I try to avoid that person or I try to not have to face that person because already I am having this preconditioned idea that this person is going to, is the cause of my unhappiness, that I have to do so much extra work whenever I come in, in front of him. So better to avoid him. What we are seeing is what we did outside and sometimes we are not aware of that also. But a lot of times you may not be able to observe this feeling within. This feeling is being driven by my past experience. So this is something from outside. It happened to me two, three, four times. Now I have assumed that this is how it is. And I, I feel helpless. But at the same time, outside also I am not able to do, finish the task. And inside also I am unhappy because I have this feeling of opposition within me that is disturbing me constantly because it is a feeling that is not naturally acceptable. So we can try to observe this. So one of the ways in which our feelings are driven, our desires are being motivated is through preconditioning from outside. It could be things I have read somewhere. It could be things somebody has told me. 
it could be uh, something through the media, it could be something I have experienced in the past, and so on. Another way in which our feelings, our desires can be motivated is through sensation. So there are five sense organs in the body. And if something is appealing to a certain sense, then I feel happy. I feel, you know, my, my feelings are driven by that. So, for instance, you know, I get a taste of a certain sweet and I like that. And while I'm eating, as long as that taste I'm getting, all my thoughts may be being driven by that. My feeling is driven by that. Even when that thing is not there, I may be what we call craving for that sweet. My thoughts, my feelings are being driven by that sweet now. So similarly like that with all the five senses. So my feelings and thoughts may be motivated through sensation. The third source of motivation is my verification on the basis of natural acceptance. And this is a very often in the majority of cases, what you find, this is a very small percentage that is motivating our imagination. But whenever our desires are being motivated by this, the natural acceptance, then we may be able to see that we are in harmony, we are comfortable within. But whenever we have any feeling that is not in line with the natural acceptance, we may be able to notice that we are in disharmony within, we are uncomfortable within, we are unhappy, we are in conflict. These are all different words saying the same thing. So this choice is there within us, but many a time we may not be aware that we are making these choices within. And we may be, you know, basing our feelings on some preconditioning outside or on the basis of sensation. But once we start paying attention, we may be able to have our feelings in line with the natural acceptance. Abhi, we are not even discussing the work outside. We are just discussing what is happening within me. So even before attempting any work outside, if I am already preconditioned, if I am already having some conflict within, if I am already having a feeling that is not in line with my natural acceptance, then I am already disturbed. I am already in conflict. I am already unhappy. With that unhappiness, now when I try to go and do, and do the task, will I have as much success as when I am comfortable and happy? Or would the success be less if I am uncomfortable, unhappy within to begin with? This we can try to see for ourselves. So whenever we are um, having our feelings, why we are focusing on the feeling? Because the feeling is what drives the thoughts and those thoughts are what drives the expectation. And with all of that, then comes the behavior outside, the activity outside. So at the base of, you know, behind the activity outside is the expectation. Behind the expectation are the thoughts, or deeper to that. And deeper to the thoughts is the feeling at the base, which is what is driving all of this. And if we look at the feeling, very often it is largely being driven by the Reconditioning. So that means we have to observe all of these things now within ourselves. Otherwise, we may feel like we are doomed to unhappiness and we don't find a solution and we feel helpless. So this we, we are just going to keep trying to observe within 
and when we do the exercises we will try to observe this in more detail in more depth and see what what can happen or what is possible and what is our potential whenever our feelings are in line with the natural acceptance this is a state of being self organized this is a state when we are not dependent on the outside for our happiness and this we may be able to see it as information but ultimately we will also be able to see it by direct observation within us that this feeling within us which is driving us our thoughts our expectations our behavior outside this feeling whenever it is in line with the natural acceptance then i feel calm i am comfortable and it is a state of self organization because now regardless of what is happening outside this i may be able to you know maintain and we will notice that our feelings also don't stay the same one moment i have a certain feeling the next moment i have a different feeling so this feeling that i have right now when i see my boss i may have this disturbance within that again some something i am going to be told to do right now just remember he has you know just visualize this he may not have said anything today he may not have even he may not even be planning to give any other task to us but the moment i see his face i am having this feeling within this disturbance within because i have based my feeling on that past experience and with that when i go to do some other activity also i am going into the other activity with this feeling at the base so i may disrupt the other activity also so with all these thoughts and these feelings now i go home and my child comes lovingly running to me to hug me and to play with me and now i get angry or i shake off the child and say you know just go outside and play don't bother me i've just come from work can't you see or something like that words to that effect so now i already had a disturbance within me with that disturbance i was already unhappy now i have gone into the next activity i have left all of that i have come home but my feeling is lingering and i have disrupted this activity also you can notice this this happens very often when we are disturbed within so can we is it possible to not have that disturbance within and then go about doing the activity so if we are not able to see that right now we can keep it open we can keep that possibility open and explore it and see if we can get to that so whenever my feelings are being driven by some preconditioning from outside or some sensation it is a form of enslavement because i feel so helpless like we had all the sharings right now we feel helpless and we feel what can we do we have no solution so we can keep it open and see is it possible right now we think it is not possible to be happy when situation outside is a certain way so not that we have to ignore the outside certainly we are living in this world we have to pay attention to the outside also but if we pay attention to the inside and we can resolve our problem inside and then work on the outside we may be able to see better results is what is being said and we can keep it open and try to observe this within ourselves so today's assignment is that we'll try to observe that whatever this imagination that is going on within us are we carrying it from one activity to the next for instance 
what I was just um, discussing. That supposing I am at work and I see my boss and he has not even mentioned anything to me so far today. But the moment I see him, I have a feeling of opposition. And with that, I am unhappy and many thoughts may be coming in. And all of the past, how many times he gave me extra work and how many times I have had to do this and all of that may be making me very unhappy. And now I go home and my child comes out to play with me and I, with this disturbance within me, I just shove the child away and say, you know, just go outside and play, don't bother me. I'm already just coming from work, I'm tired and all of that. So now that feeling that I had that was in a certain place doing a certain activity, I have carried this feeling forward and now it is coloring all my experiences ahead also. Can we try and observe this within ourselves today? I'll mention it on the group also. <laughs> 